But when we talk about the U.S. Women's National Team, we have to talk about the big announcement. I mean, just in soccer in general, the icon, Megan Rapino announced that she will retire at the end of the 2023 NWSL season. And, and we know her for so much on the field, but off the field, her, her impact has been felt in so many different areas. Um, and to say goodbye to her in this game is one thing, but we know that she will continue to make an impact in everything that she does. But let's take a look at all of the things that she has done uh, during her U.S. Women's National Team career. She is a two-time World Cup winner. She won the Golden Ball and the Golden Boot in the 2019 World Cup. She's won uh, Olympic gold and bronze medals. I mean, she was the 2019 Ballon d'Or winner. There, there is so much that we can say about Megan Rapinoe and her career. I, I just remember t 2019, she was untouchable. Just on f every touch was perfect. Every set piece, every cross finish and what stands out to me is I met her in high school so wow. we're McDonald's All-American um, and she was obviously on the west I was on the east and our teams would get together and so I got to, to know her and to see where she went from there and she was super ta talented but not maybe as as outspoken and 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 confident and and you know with the swagger that she has now and just to see her the way she's grown and as much as she has done it for the U.S. Women's National Team on the pitch, off the she pitch. might be bigger off the pitch. I actually the remember. Co courage is what stands out to me. Courage yes. and, and being and, able to and speak leadership for, and for people who, who don't have a voice. That's just, that's probably been the most incredible. She, she was one of the first to kneel. I hosted a. Uh, she was the first. I hosted a not. massive uh, tournament. For, for women. There was a. Uh, there was a massive tournament that took place in Charlotte, North Carolina, and she was one of the big guests. And it was a Saturday, was great, it was packed. Arsenal players were there, it was packed. Sunday, it looked I was like, is Taylor Swift showing up? Why are there so many kids here? It was jam packed. And I remember there was a little girl came up to me and she said, is, is when's Megan coming on? And I was like, oh, she's probably not gonna be on for a couple more hours. She's like, my dad said I'm not allowed to stay because obviously, you know, Megan is very outspoken politically, and I guess the dad didn't agree. And I remember this little girl crying, and she gave me an envelope and said, can you give this to Megan? I was like, sure. I'm like, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get to Megan. So I made sure that, you know, I, I asked her people, I said, hey, this little girl dropped this note off. She's not allowed to, sh to stay here. Can you give this to her? Megan Rapino opened it in front of me, read the whole thing. She very clearly got emotional. It was talking about how much she loved her. There was a drawing of Megan in there. And then she gave it to a person and said, make sure you give this back to me because I want to write back to this little girl. I mean, like, there's someone who's very clearly understands the impact that she's made on these children. And it's, it's so important to, see, to when you meet these folks, when you meet someone who is outspoken and they actually ma match that expectation, it's not just for fanfare or for clicks. She really does care. It's an absolutely wonderful thing. And not that I had any negative connotation. She's a wonderful person before, but now it just solidified how great she was after that. I think it's epic when she leads the line off the field and she leads the line on the field. She just became this force in sport that I don't think a lot of athletes were able to, at that level, be. And in 2019, remember that there was this whole narrative about a team being arrogant going into World Cup and mm -hmm. women's national team, how they were I ain't going no like bleep in White House. Um, Come on, that's iconic. I, 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 look, I love a little bit of cockiness and a little bit of arrogance. You don't as, say. As, as, <laughs> my family is Argentinian. <laughs> and, they, and, and if you can back, and you have to back it up is, is the thing. And man, they just shut mouths left and right. The at, president at the was Cup. saying she wasn't a winner, it and she was, went out and won. Yeah. This will that, that always was, live in our minds. Yes. This will live and, in our and minds this, forever. The, the Alex Morgan but, yeah. sipping tea. It, man, the, that World Cup was epic. When you, when you tell that story, Alexis, I, I spoke to an academy coach for O.L. Reign, um, and he feels so honored to have worked alongside her and, like, along... You know, to get to see her work day in and day out, he said the ethos that she is, the celebrity that she is, is actually who she is day in and day out. And he said the OL Reign Academy players go after a photo shoot. She's been in a photo shoot, a magazine shoot, for like five hours or more in the sun. And they go and they just want a picture with her. And she has the, the acknowledgement that that moment is very important to them in this moment, just like you said, and takes pictures with all of them, has conversations with all of them, even though she's been there all day sweating, doing interviews, all of these things. Um, she acknowledges how heavy the crown yeah. is that she wears, and she wears it well. And I don't think that so many, or I don't think many people would risk everything, 
the way that she does, mm -hmm. and she does it unapologetically, and she does it because she cares, not with any other impact or, or with any other reasoning behind it. And you can tell she means it. She wants to stand up for everything that she is and that the people that don't have a voice, she stands up for. And I, I'm honored that she plays our sport. You know, it's given our sport, women's soccer specifically, uh, the kind of visibility that other women's sports aren't getting as much because she was willing to be that character that the U.S. women's national team needed. They needed an outspoken person. And uh, I just think it's such an honor. And we're so lucky that she got to say goodbye on her terms. We have this entire season, this World Cup, to watch her say goodbye. Um, and I hope that stadiums fill screaming for Megan Rapinoe um, this entire season. She's sitting on her 200th cap. I thought she was going to get it yesterday. Yep, she didn't step in yesterday. That's another one that, that we were expecting to see. But she will get that 200th cap, I think, we, we during get, that get World, in the Cup. World Cup. Don't get, get it in, in the, the World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fair. <laughs> but, fair. <laughs> something that we, we just want to say goodbye and, and really show her the proper goodbye during this year. And hopefully she gets that third World Cup here um, in New Zealand and Australia. That, what a way to say goodbye to her 